Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So after I released my Harley Quinn video, it was highly, highly, highly requested that I also draw Poison Ivy and I honestly planned on drawing her anyway because you cannot draw Harley Quinn without drawing Poison Ivy. So without further ado, here is my Poison Ivy video. So I actually had a lot of trouble kind of designing what like pose and expression I wanted her to be in and I have like an entire sketchbook page filled with just sketches of Poison Ivy because I could not get her body right and I don't know. I had a lot of trouble with it but luckily I finally came to this design right here that I'm very very happy with and one of the things that I really really wanted to do was kind of match her to the Harley Quinn drawing that I did and if you guys haven't seen the Harley Quinn drawing go check that out too. Um, but yeah so I wanted them to kind of be like a set like they would go together and it just gave me it gave me a lot of trouble in the beginning but I worked it out and I finally came with this piece which like I said I'm very happy with how it came out anyway so yes uh, heart honestly um, I'm more of a Marvel fan than a DC fan if I'm being totally honest with myself but Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy are like the only DC characters I can get myself to like actually care about um, they, they're my favorite and I love them so much and yeah I was very happy to be drawing them together I also wanted to mention that I will be selling prints of both Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn at the amazing Las Vegas Comic Con which is coming up in like oh my gosh three weeks um, yeah I am going to be going into hardcore full convention planning mode because I don't have a lot of time and Las Vegas Comic Con is a much bigger convention than I've ever been to and I'm gonna be selling all kinds of art and stuff and I'm equal parts nervous and excited but yeah so they're gonna be there with me and yes very excited um, so yeah I will now tell you guys a little bit about my process um, it's pretty much the watercolor process I've been playing with for quite a while now um, what I do is I have my sketch and I transfer my sketch over to a piece of watercolor paper using a light box and I don't do any line art just like off the bat um, instead I will outline in a very light light brown pencil and that way when I go over with the watercolors it's like a very very faint line that I can still see like where all my colors need to go but it's not like too overpowering anyway then I start off with layering a very light color of the color that I want like for the skin I would do a very pale skin tone color and then after that dries I will go in with different colors and shadows and keep layering and layering letting each layer dry before I add the next layer until I have the values and colors that I want um, I'm really enjoying this watercoloring style. It does take a long time because watercolors take a long time to dry and it's honestly not ideal for me because I'm a very impatient person especially when it comes to like wanting to finish an art piece but the patience pays off because I really like the outcome of how it looks. So yeah. Then after I have all the watercolors set down, I go in with a darker brown colored pencil and that's when I add my lines. Um, I don't add the lines too harsh or too thick. Um, I mostly just want the lines to be a little addition to just like further separate all the items from each other. Um, but I like the soft look that it gives. Um, I've never been a fan of like harsh black lines in artwork. Um, I know there's like some art styles that look really really good with it um, but just for my personal style I've never really liked it so I'm really happy that I found this kind of softer watercolor style I guess I don't know but yeah um, and then toward the end like I said I wanted her to match the Harley Quinn drawing so I originally had like her arms and legs covered in ivy because you know she's poison ivy but to kind of match the Suicide Squad Harley that I drew I actually gave her tattoos that are ivy instead of like actual physical ivy and I'm very happy with how that came out too because I feel like it matches the Harley Quinn a lot better than if I had like actual physical ivy running down her body Um, let me guys know if you like this video. Um, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about it for this time. Um, like I said, go check out my Harley Quinn video as well. Let me know if there's any other kind of fan art you would like to see 
for Las Vegas Comic Con. I am always up to your guys' suggestions. And I hope you have an excellent day, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!